In my previous video, I showed how you can create uh, this type of template. Uh, I'm using Google Data Studio and the data source is coming uh, Google Analytics. And then, uh, so here is the master template. So uh, I can put the link uh, down below here. But the today's video is uh, I'll show you uh, using this template and how you can change the data source. Uh, let's say you want to put uh, your own website data or your client data. So um, uh, I'll walk you through quickly. So first you need to um, make a copy. So up here, little icon here, so click that. And and right here, so I'm using a, a sample Google Analytics data. So uh, click here and create new data source. And here, so you pick uh, Google Analytics. So I have uh, um, some website here uh, because um, I look after my client's website. And uh, so let's say uh, this uh, CCS, uh, one of my client's uh, website. And then just uh, uh, click this all website data. And here on the top right, uh, hit connect. and add to report and a copy report. So see what happens. So it might take a while because it's pulling all the data. I'm gonna quickly change the file name here. And here's title. Title. I'm going to change that. Um, now, uh, this tool is great if you are a webmaster uh, for your organization or even like web consulting uh, company uh, or web consultant or even like web designer or developer uh, because um, uh, here, like you can share with your client here. So you can just uh, get a link and then uh, you can schedule and email them here uh, daily. I, I don't think my clients want to see it daily, uh, but the weekly, monthly, and you can customize that. So maybe like monthly report is going to be uh, good enough uh, for your client or for your team. And then uh, you can give them feedback. Uh, if you want to, you can actually embed the report. Uh, let me quickly show you how. So if you click that and it gives you iframe, so you can copy that. So here is my demo site. And then uh, add a new page. Yeah, let's call it Google. Okay, and then uh, here I'm going to do a code editor. And I'm going to just uh, paste that iframe. And then uh, Take a look. So you can embed that to uh, your own website. So if you have an intranet, uh, that would be probably useful. Um, yeah, so here's an option here. So uh, having Google Analytics and then looking at data is so important. Now lots of nonprofit, like everybody has a website, but I don't feel that uh, everybody is looking at the data and try to keep improving your website. Now I'm telling uh, my clients always that uh, web your website is not just online bro brochure. So website can be your business tool. So uh, here's a diagram. So web analytics, a lot of web developer and consultant use uh, this uh, strategy. Um, observe and orient and decide and act. So uh, just the first of the observe is uh, looking at your current situation uh, on your website. And the orient is make plans, you know, looking at the what's, what's working and what's not working and the way they want to go from here. So you have to keep always analyzing and make plan. And the next step is decide to what to do. And then uh, last things act, implement, right? So, but this, as you can see, this is a loop. 
So you have to keep doing this. So that's why I always send my client a monthly report and review this process. So I hope you should do that too. And then I hope this video helps a little bit advanced, but um, yeah, so let me know what you think and I'll talk to you later.